You're already here? It's good to see you. Did you have a nice trip? I hope that your stay in Los Angeles was a success. Vic, you look strange. What's going on? Richard, I know you're Mark Ackerman's grandson. It's true. I found out when my grandmother died a little over two years ago. It was such a... revelation for me. At that point, I'd pretty much given up on my career as an artist to focus on running the gallery. Mark Ackerman's work moved me deeply. But you always said that you only discovered Ackerman's paintings recently. Why lie? Well, because of the art director. After the auction where he bought some of the paintings, he made himself out to be the genius who exhumed a forgotten artist's work. I didn't want to lessen his moment of glory and risk alienating him. The gallery needs funding, you know. I found a page of Governor Ackerman's confessions in one of your drawers. Were you the one who went to see Inspector Harrison under the pseudonym Zarkovic? That was an innocent bit of subterfuge. I was going to return the documents. I found a black cape in the closet. It looks remarkably like the one the killer wore. There's still blood on it, in exactly the spot where I wounded him. I don't understand how it could have got here. The murderer must be trying to set me up. By casting suspicion on me, he gets at you. In that case, you won't mind me taking this cape to have the blood tested. I could also have a little look to make sure you don't have any trace of a wound. Come on, come on, Vic. Don't you trust me? It's me, Richard. You're Richard. I did trust you, but that's impossible now. Richard, I may have quit the FBI, but I'm still a profiler. My gut tells me I'm not wrong. It's you, Richard. You've committed these horrible murders. My heart can't believe it, but my head knows it's true. You're not saying anything. Why, Richard? Why all this madness, this hatred? I need to understand. Open your eyes, Victoria. Let me show you something. Agent McPherson? Let me show you something. His last masterpiece. It's called... The Betrayal. You've managed to unmask me. It's a shame. I would have liked the game to have gone on a bit longer. Our relationship. It wasn't a coincidence, was it? You had everything planned from the beginning. I didn't plan our meeting. You're the one who contacted me during one of your investigations, remember? When I saw your name on my screen, I thought of Gustav McPherson, of course. Your grandfather, who Mark Ackerman immortalized in his painting. Could it be that you were his descendant? I made some inquiries, and when I knew who you were, I decided to include you in my work. So that's it? All these months you were just pretending? How could I have been so stupid? Vic, Vic, you pretend to be as tough as nails, but really you're soft, sentimental. Richard, how could you have become a murderer? True artists must rid themselves of all the inhibitions that limit mere mortals. They must overcome all taboos. My grandfather made me understand this. I have freed myself of mediocrity. I've touched the reality which surrounds us, the brutality, the fear, the suffering, the death. 
death has filled a void that I have always felt deep inside of me. This absolute, implacable, its beauty terrifies the weak of spirit. The act of murder, Vic. It's a deeply moving artistic experience. Have you never sensed this? You, you who keeps company with all these victims and murderers? You're completely insane. Oh, Victoria, I'm free. While you and everyone like you live your lives like blind larvae, imprisoned by your comforting certitudes. Ackerman killed so he could fill his canvases. Did you murder women to emulate your ancestor? You don't understand. He didn't kill to paint. My grandfather's true body of work isn't the paintings. His art was murder. By putting these women to death, I've paid homage to Mark Ackerman's genius. I've reproduced the murders that he committed. The paintings are merely the testimony. In embracing my heritage, I had to go beyond mere pictorial imitation. <laughs> I had to immerse myself in the creative act itself. Good God, you really are sick. You seem so... convinced of what you're saying. Why all this insanity? Because your mother abandoned you? She wanted you to have a chance, a future she couldn't offer you. She betrayed me. Her only child. Like Beatrice betrayed Mark. Like you would have done too sooner or later. You always end up leaving. I hate you for this. But don't worry. I don't hold grudges. I offer you redemption by placing you at the center of my work. Richard, I can't let this go on. Please, come to your senses. I'll do what I can to help you escape this madness. Beatrice offered the same thing to my grandfather. The illusion of peace in a false universe composed of drugs and electroshock. When Mark finally rejected that weak semblance of a life, she turned her back on him. She left him, just as she left me, by keeping the truth of my heritage from me. So, I'm gonna have to... Refuse your help, Vic. But I'm offering you mine. 